Hello everyone here. Today we are coming to discuss an important uh, issue, uh, post-operative recurrence of the Crohn's disease. We have a very important and essential scoring system for evaluation of the patient post-operatively. Red grids scoring system. It uh, classify I0 no lesions present at the ileoclonic uh, area. Uh, and I1, it means that there is an less than five abscess also. Uh, at the ileoclonic area. I2 means that there is more than five abscess ulcer uh, with inflamed mucosa in a skipping pattern, uh, more than or less uh, one centimeter from the ileoclonic anastomos. I3 means that there is an diffuse abscess ileitis with an diffusely inflamed mucosa. I4 that there is an nodules and large ulceration and some area we may be found narrowing or structure uh, devoid. We have uh, this uh, scoring system rat grids uh, score uh, for evaluation of the patient uh, and the progression of the disease. Uh, if we have an score I0, I1, I2A, we have an low risk disease progression, we have an, a low morbidity and the less complication. Uh, for about five years. Uh, in this case, we also have no planning for changing the treatment or adding biologics. We maybe have monitored the structure uh, and the uh, uh, periodic assessment by colonoscopy and biomarkers may be very essential. And prevention of the smoking is one of the very essential uh, something in the patient with low risk disease. Uh, and in the patient with the high risk disease progression, I mean I2B, I3, I4, which maybe have an, an use and restriction, we have to ask ourselves one of two questions. First question, is the patient already on biologics or not? And if the patient already on biologics, which type of the biologics the patient are on? Uh, if the patient on TNF inhibitors, we have to measure the therapeutic drug monitoring and the assessment of the drug level, also assessment of the level of the infliximab uh, antibody. Uh, if the patient have any of this and there is an resistance of the disease progression, we have to add. We add. We have to add immunomodulators uh, like azathioprine for the prevention of the development of the antibody or decreasing the level of the uh, TNF inhibitors. In some cases, we may have to change uh, the type of the biologics to another type according to the patient characters. I mean, the age of the patient, the presence of the comorbidity, uh, like lymphoma, malignancy, something like this, neurological, cardiovascular events. If there is an uh, extra intestinal manifestation of the patient, uh, associated disease like, like um, psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus, any of this, uh, we have to uh, tailor the treatment on the biology according to the patient uh, characters. If the patient is not already on the biologics, we have to start the tumor necrosis factor inhibitors, I mean uh, infliximab or etilimab. Uh, also, we have to add uh, immunomodulators to infliximab to prevent the level of the antibody or uh, decreasing its level uh, in the blood. Smoking also have to prevent, and also we have to reevaluate and reassess the patient every time and now uh, uh, for uh, uh, the biomarkers of the patient and colonoscopy for the lesions which I mentioned in the red grids scoring system. Many thanks and goodbye, IBD and algorithm.